ब्रह्मनाथ ओ शांति 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 स्वस्थ हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी डिस्कस्ड फर्स्ट द यू केरिया यू केरिया दीज आर द यू केरियोटिक सेल्स एंड इट इन्वॉल्व्स वी कैन से द फोर किंगडम्स protista fungi plantae and the animalia <coughs> the membrane of the eukarya uh, composed of the we can say the unbranched fatty acid is attached to the glycerol by the means of the ester linkage further we discussed the protista which are the simple unicellular organisms then we discussed the fungi which includes the unicellular and some some uh, multicellular also but in this the cells are not organized into the tissue further we discussed the plantae basically the mosses ferns examples we can take and these are the multicellular lastly we discussed the animalia which is our case these are the multicellular and the type of we can say the nutrition is by ingestion <coughs> or engulfing the food next we discussed the systematics which is known as your systemic arrangement of the living organisms okay next we discuss the new systematics means the advanced form of, form of the systematics then we discuss the taxonomy <coughs> taxonomy means the identification nomenclature and the classification of the organisms okay and also <coughs> i have, have given you three differences okay i hope uh, you have all uh, written on your note or practice in your note today or tomorrow we'll provide the pdf answers of that difference between so today <coughs> we'll discuss our new topic that is your species concept <coughs> simply we can say what is the species means as we discussed and various examples we have taken then in our case the species is what the scientific name is what homo sapiens means the species name is sapiens <coughs> okay so we can simply say species is the lower unit of the classification okay or we can also say that it is the basic or the fundamental unit of classification means what the lower unit means uh, suppose your scientific name is as i said in the our case the homo sapiens or we can say the <coughs> uh, commonly i have told the tiger panthera tigris means the lower one the we can say the basic or the fundamental unit is your species species okay so we can write <coughs> first point the lowest unit of classification is species is species okay or also we can write it, it is a basic or the fundamental unit of the classification <coughs> species is the basic or fundamental unit of classification okay <coughs> next who initiated who initiated the species concept john ray initiated the species concept john ray initiated the species concept okay <coughs> next we'll discuss some general characteristics of the species some general characteristics of species first point first general point okay <coughs> first general point is individuals of the same species 
or we can say are morphologically same in nature means what first i will write then i will make you understand individuals individuals <coughs> of same species are morphological morphologically similar in nature okay means what suppose we are taken for example in our case okay <coughs> common case human case you means uh, if you like account take in account you as a human being and i as a human being <coughs> so we both have the obviously the structure is same as you are human being and we are i am also human being i have also two hand two legs uh, one nose two ears one mouth one head and you also have that much only means one nose two ears two hands two legs one head okay means we are morphologically similar morphological means what the external appearance <coughs> okay suppose we will take a plant mango tree will always look like a mango tree a banyan tree will always look like a banyan tree okay any tree any organism you take that their morphological will completely similar according to their own species <coughs> but if we will take into account of our uh, structure and we will take into account and uh, uh, of a uh, we can say cow <coughs> does we have any similarity no because because the cow is of another species we are of another species okay this is completely different means we are completely different human being and cow is a completely different organism okay now take a common example <coughs> having the genus same most common example i have repeatedly told the common the tiger and the lion tiger have the gene the scientific name called the panthera tigris lion have the scientific name panthera leo okay so is the tiger morphological similar to the morphological the morphological nature of the lion no because this species is different genus might be same ancestors may be same that's a different thing but species is completely different lion is the tiger uh, the panthera's uh, panthera leo and the tiger is the panthera tigris as the species are completely different their morphological nature will be also completely different so there wait where the species comes into act and there where the species import plays the important role <coughs> means if we take into account individual of the same species then they will be morphological similar okay means if you will take out as uh, take into account as human being me or you or any other person means we are human being we are homo sapiens we are morphologically similar because we are of same species <coughs> suppose we are taking into, uh, into an account various dogs various dogs what happens means their species is same their structure little bit means uh, some some minor structure will be changes but overall this the morphologically nature is similar if you take a, take into account various cow their morphological account is similar if you take into account various mango tree their morphologically similar <coughs> if into take into account various other means the we can say the banyan tree various banyan tree they are morphologically similar means what we know that the species means individual of a same species is morphologically same in nature individual of same species are morphologically same in nature <coughs> next one individual of the same species are potentially capable to interbreed among themselves <coughs> individual of same species are potentially capable <coughs> to interbreed among themselves means what means first point we discussed that the individual of the same species <coughs> are morphologically <coughs> similar 
Next point, the individual of the same species have the potential, have the capable to interbreed means it is the act of the reproduction. Interbreed means it is the act of the reproduction. Okay, in which the <coughs> organism of the same species interbreed with the organism of their same species. He can't means we can say he can't we can say he interbreed with we can say another species. Common example: tiger will only interbreed with a tiger. Lion will only interbreed with a lion. <coughs> dog will only interbreed with a dog. Means a organism or an individual of a same species is capable or potential to interbreed among themselves, not with the other species. This is the common general characteristics of a species. Next last point. <coughs> Reproductive isolation is seen in the species of the or we can say of the other species. Reproductive isolation, reproductive isolation is seen in the organisms of organisms of <coughs> different species see I am giving you example see suppose this is a particular species there are various a b c various organisms suppose this is another species suppose this is m n o means these are your various organisms suppose this one is one species this one is another species of this species these are various of various organisms of this species there are various organisms okay now we will understand the second point and the third point <coughs> in the same species the organisms have the capable to interbreed in the same species the organisms are capable to interbreed but reproductive isolation is seen in the individual of the or you can write organism we can write individual here in the individuals <coughs> individuals of different species means what as we know this is one species this is another species so is it possible that one species is capable to that means to interpret another species no i have told no that the species of the individual of the same species is capable to interpret among themselves but it is not capable or we can say it cannot means interbreed with another species that is why the reproductive isolation means this species is completely reproductively isolated from the another species means it cannot interbreed with the organism of the other species so that is the main concept so reproductive isolation means one species will interbreed with a species of that of their species only one individual of can interbreed with uh, the species of their organisms only one species cannot interbreed with another species or we can say one individual of a particular species cannot interbreed with another individual of the other species no okay this organism can interbreed only with this species organisms having the particular species <coughs> exactly this organism can only interbreed with the species with the organisms or individuals of their own species but <coughs> this particular organism having the y species cannot cannot interbreed with the a having the x species clearly understood so this is your third point reproductive isolation is seen in the individuals of different species mean reproductively isolation okay so <coughs> as of now we discussed the lowest unit of classification is the species or species is the basic or the fundamental unit of classification. John Ray initiated the term or we can say the species concept. <coughs> then general characteristics, individuals of the same species are morphologically similar means the external appearance. Then the individual of the same species are capable of potential to interbreed among themselves. <coughs> Third point, reproductive isolation is seen in the individuals of the different species. Okay.
So this is all about our introduction portion of the species and the general characteristics of the species. Please note down. Next we will discuss the, there are three we can say the, uh, the concept of the species concept we can say that is your morphological species concept, then the biological species concept and third one is your genetic species concept. First one is your morphological species concept. <coughs> so what is morphological species concept? As I have said in the general characteristics, first point we will write this species concept or the morphological species concept was given by the famous scientist or we can say the Carlos Linnaeus which is also known as your father of taxonomy. So, <coughs> this concept, this we can say this species concept, it is will be more appropriate, this species concept, this species concept was given by was given by Carlos Linnaeus. Okay. <coughs> means see what is morphological species concept, biological species concept, then the genetic species concept means according to several scientists they have given particular definition of the science of the species. That is only the morphological species concept, the biological species concept and also the genetic species concept. So, according to the <coughs> morphological species concept, the species is the or we can say is the group of individual in which they have the most or the major characteristics, common characteristics or we can say they resemble the most or the major characteristics okay, or the morphological nature. <coughs> we can write species is the group of individuals in which the most or the major characteristics okay or we can say the morphological nature or morphological <coughs> nature is similar is similar okay we can take into account <coughs> common example that the all the human beings are of one species or not i am also homo sapien you are also homo sapien all other human beings are also homo sapiens so we can write example all human beings are of one species. Is there any human being that is, he is or she is not homo sapiens? No. Then also another common example we can write <coughs> that the panthera, all the lions are the panthera leo, all the tigers are the panthera tigris. We will write one only all the lions are panthera leo this is the genus name this is the species name. means how means so many if you take into account so many lions then only they will belong to this species only if you take into account the various tiger then it will be panthera tigris so means a particular species <coughs> If we we'll take into account, it is a group of individual in which the most or the major characteristics or the morphological we can say natures are similar. Okay, <coughs> nature are similar. Natures are similar. Okay. Next is your biological species concept. This concept was proposed by Darwin and it was modified by the Ernst Mayer. This species concept <coughs> was proposed by Darwin <coughs> and was modified by 
and was modified by Ernst Mayer. Okay, in the year 1942. 1942. <coughs> so, what is the definition of species according to the biological species concept? According to biological species concept, <coughs> species is a group of individuals which is actually potential or capable to interbreed among themselves but are reproductively isolated from other groups okay so species is the group of individuals having actual potential <coughs> to interbreed among themselves and reproductively isolated <coughs> from other groups here i am not writing the other species because we are writing here the species we are taking into one general group okay so i am writing here groups okay <coughs> means what species is a we can say it is a group of individual species it is a group of individuals which have the capable to interbreed among themselves but are isolated but are isolated from other such groups understood common example we can take <coughs> panthera leo means lion is capable to interbreed with lion only but it is reproductively isolated from the panthera tigris or tiger panthera leo or we can say lion is potentially to potential to interbreed with its own species with its own species but but is reproductively isolated <coughs> from the Panthera tigris means tiger. Tigris means tiger. Okay, or we can also write other groups. Here we taken one example, or also we can write other groups. Means the Panthera leo is capable to interpret with only Panthera leo or lion, but it is. <coughs> means the reproductively isolated from the panthera tigris or tiger or any other groups okay so as of now we discuss the morphological species concept and the biological species concept morphological species concept was given by carlos linnaeus <coughs> according to this species concept it is a group of individual in which the 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 individuals of the same group have the most or major characteristics or morphological nature similar <coughs> According to the biological species concept, it was proposed by the we can say Darwin and it was modified by modified by Ernst Mayer. According to this, the species is a group of individuals which is capable of or potential to interbreed among themselves, but it is reproductively isolated from other groups. Okay, firstly we taken the example such as your all human beings related to one species. <coughs> all lions are belong to one species. Human beings species means Homo sapiens. Homo sapiens. <coughs> Homo sapiens. Okay. Similarly, lion, panthera, leo. Sim uh, similarly, biological species concept, panthera leo is potential to interbreed with its own species, but reproductively isolated from the panthera tigris means tiger or any other groups. Okay. So we discussed now the morphological species concept and the biological species concept. Okay. Please note down.
so lastly we will discuss the genetic species concept okay according to lot c according to lot c in the year 1918 he told that that the species or we can say species are the group of genetically identical organisms or we can say individuals species <coughs> is the group of genetically identical individuals okay means according to lot c in the year 1918 he told that the species is the group of the genetically identical individuals <coughs> means what means he told that if we we'll take into account a particular species <coughs> then the genes or the genetic material that is responsible for any particular character it's similar means suppose i am also human being you are also human being suppose a particular gene is there responsible for our eye color that is black same gene will be responsible for you means so many people that are seeing now those have the eye color black the same gene is responsible so means our complete information is stored in the dna as i have said that dna is the blueprint of the life so particular gene have a particular information stored inside the means uh, uh, inside the gene so in human being if a particular gene is responsible for a particular character then another human being also that gene only will, will be responsible for particular character okay so that is why it is said that a species is a group of individual in which we can say the um, <coughs> it is genetically identical means the genetic material will be same or we can say the gene which is responsible for showing a particular character is same in the another organism of a same species okay so as of now we discuss three species concept morphological species concept then the we can discuss also the uh, reproduction <coughs> reproductive species concept and the uh, genetic species uh, sorry biological species concept and the genetic species concept now we'll discuss the sub species what is the sub species species is further divided into sub species species is further divided <coughs> into sub species okay so means as i said that the species is the lowest unit of classification but the species is also further sub divided how the species or the sub species uh, the sub species is we can say it is the group of we can say the geographically isolated individuals or we can say geographically isolated population of a particular species which are capable to interbreed among themselves to produce fertile hybrids i will make you understand don't don't worry sub species <coughs> is defined first write then i will make you understand sub species is defined as the geographically geographically isolated population of a particular species of a particular species which are capable of interbreeding producing fertile hybrids fertile hybrids okay i'll tell some example then i'll tell <coughs> example are so suppose we'll take the case of a tiger only so panthera tigris tigris okay this is the genus species subspecies this is the known as your bengal tiger bengal tiger 
okay next is your of the same species panthera tigris sumetra tigris sumetra okay this one is your sumetran tiger sumetran tiger third one is your panthera tigris um, altaica panthera tigris altaica panthera tigris altaica which is your siberian tiger which is your <coughs> siberian tiger so see <coughs> these all are tiger these all three what you are seeing these all are tigers okay having the same the genus or species the panthera tigris panthera tigris panthera tigris but the subspecies is different means the panthera tigris tigris is the bengal tiger which is found in india panthera tigris sumetra is the sumetran tiger which is basically found in the sumetran area of the indonesia panthera tigris altaica is basically found in the siberia region though it that is why it is also known as a siberian tiger so <coughs> these three are tigers okay Be because it all belongs to the same species but they are geographically different isolated means this population present in india this population present in indonesia this population is present in the siberia in the cold region but even though they are of the various other species but they are capable to interbreed means this tiger can take a uh, interbreed with this tiger this tiger will cap uh, can interbreed with this tiger but if the bengal tiger will um, interbreed with bengal tiger then bengal tiger will produce if the sumetran tiger will interbreed with the sumetran tiger then sumetran tiger will produce but if bengal tiger will interbreed with the sumetran tiger then another we can say another the hybrid form of the tiger will produce so that is why it is written the subspecies defined as the geographically isolated population of a particular species which are capable of interbreed producing fertile hybrids <coughs> understood so today we discussed the species concept in detail species is the lowest unit of classification or we can say the basic or the fundamental unit of classification species in further we discussed <coughs> that it is of we can say three species concept are there morphological species concept in which we discussed that the, all the morphological characters are similar then we discussed the biological species concept in which the uh, group of individual in which it is capable of interbreeding among themselves but reproductively isolated from other species or groups lastly the genetic species concept in which the species is the group of individual having the genetically identical characters or individuals lastly we discuss the subspecies which is the further division of the species in which it is the geographically isolated of a particular isolation of a particular species which are capable of interbreed producing the various fertile hybrids common example we taken bengal tiger sumatran tiger and the siberian tiger so that's all for today we will meet in our next class